Shalo Ohana. We're getting ready to have us some dipping fun. We are going to be dipping some little shells. We're going to be dipping some big shells. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you what to do and what you want to make sure is done before you dip them. got some stuff here that we will be using in our ocean soul jewelry some that we just think are beautiful and fun that we collect and then of course scallops these just turn out beautiful but for example there's a barnacle on here you want to use, and I got this from the Dollar Tree, I got this from the Dollar Tree, I got these from the Dollar Tree, I got my handy dandy best um, shell dipper right here, cat litter. Everything is plastic. You do not want to use anything other than plastic when you're using muriatic acid. Because it neutralizes it, right? You know, it just, it's not good to breathe in the metal that they're using. Um, when they dip them, it, it corrodes everything. So if it's gonna corrode something, like you don't wanna use that. Yeah. Plastic is, is safest. I got plastic gloves. All right. So, so anyway. yeah, let's let's uh, go over the safety real quick. Yep, uh, yep, so safety. Gloves. Use gloves. I have sunglasses on right now. We are outside in a well-ventilated area. We have fans blowing on around us. But if you do not have um, those options, you're in the desert or something. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to want to wear these safety goggles. And we go above and beyond because we cut shells. But if you have something like this, this is great. If not, plastic uh, mask or uh, paper mask would do just fine as well. Get your COVID mask out. All right. Barnacles. Any calcium deposits on there. You're just going to want to kind of get rid of them. This is water. Use your best judgment, kind of try to look at that. It scrapes right away. So you want to get anything like that off. The Rose Murex is definitely a little bit harder. You want to be a little bit more delicate with these and get these little white barnacles off of there before you dip. So a lot of people will think that it's okay to put their shells in with their barnacles and what happens is you're left with their periosterman skin underneath that barnacle and it will just start eating away at the shell. Mm. So you really got to get these um, barnacles or calcium deposits off. You want to do that pre-dip. Pre-dipping, guys. All Make right? sure you got all your barnacles picked before you dip. It's been pre-barnacle picked. Pre-barnacle picked. All right, so this is a fully picked barnacle. Yes. Full of... <laughs> Fully picked <laughs> and flicked. <laughs> Just by Mollus Meg over here. Uh -huh. Now going to the setup. Okay. Uh, and we will put this in our comments on how much to use, how much we use. Everybody does it different. I like to err on the edge of caution. And I use about a cup of muriatic acid. And the rest I put in here is water. If you need more acid, you can put more acid as you go. Okay. But this is, I like to keep my shells nice and safe. I don't want pit holes. I dip them for three seconds. You neutralize them straight in the water. Gotcha. And the more gastropods that you do are one opening, one opening size shells, which are the majority of the shells that we like to pick up as shellers. You're going to want to dip, um, replace this water as you go on because the acid gets into the gastropod and then all of that gets into here. So then you're left with not so clean water. So you're going to want to replace that water as you go, depending on your big collection you're dipping. Are we ready? All right, let's do some dipping. Are we ready? All right, I'm going to start out with this flat scallop. Nice little zigzag flat. 
I am going to dip it. One, two, up. three. And I'm going to put it in the water. And you see, if you, a lot of people have used straight up muriatic acid. You don't want to do that. For safety, for the safety of your shell, it does not need much to get that calcium deposit off, which is ultimately what you want to do to make your shells just vibrate and come back to life. Um, and look at this. All right, let's see the finished product here. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Popping. It's really popping. Okay, next I'm going to do this Rose Murex. Okay, let's get a good look at that. Beautiful Rosie. Beautiful Rosie. Let's see it go in there. Okay. Just a little quick dipski. Yep, you see that foam. It's not a lot of foam. Vibrant little orange. These are definitely going to be Ooh. earrings whenever we get a pair. <laughs> Beautiful. Very hard to find a pair. Of Very those. hard to find. Right, we and here? this King's Crown, Crown Conk is looking perfect. It doesn't really have any barnacles. It just has that calcium um, deposit left over on it. So we're just going to take him straight in to the acid bath. Boop, boop. And we're going to dip them, neutralize them in the water. Boop, boop. Oh, look at that. Chocolatey brown. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous. Isn't this one of our favorites in the shelling community to find? Actually vibrant, not worn out. His spikes are just so prominent. Gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. Okay, we're going to do this nutmeg next. Would love to reveal their once fresh self. There's our nutmeg. All glamorous. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow, that really came to life. That really came to life. And Let's see these. Yeah, one of our daughters found this one the other day. So I'm going to use this as an example. And again, I would want to get this Aperiostromin off um, before I would generally dip it. But I'm just going to show you for this um, example that this won't come off, but all the rest of this um, white calcium, calcium deposit will. Hmm. All right. Let's check it out. Okay. see that okay go in for the bath yeah so just kind of going to show you if you left this um, in bleach a little bit longer and we're gonna we're gonna go over that in next. another video okay so in another video that's coming um, you'll see what happens after we get all of this skin off but still a lot vibrant, a lot more vibrant than it was. I will go in and do this guy that had all that off. This is his last process here. This is our dipping. It's went through the whole process, huh? Yeah, this one's been through the whole process. And what you're left with is a perfect horse conch. Perfect pony right there. Oh yeah size everybody wants to find. Look at that, wow. I mean, it's just flawless. All right, let's see a scallop. Okay. So again, I would generally try to get this barnacle off, just like that. I probably would be a tad bit more gentle. <laughs> but since we're doing this video, we want to get the most out of shell uh, showing you each different little species of shells that we enjoy dipping. We don't dip all of our shells. We're pretty much just not the shark eyes and not the lettered olives. Everything else we pretty much dip. Look at Not the that. shiny shells, right? Not the shiny shells. Beautiful. Wow. Mm. Beautiful scallop. Yes. Beautiful scallop. And... These um, apple murexes and lace murexes, which I don't have any laces out here, but 
they're kind of my favorite to dip. They, they really, really pop. They really pop after you. Um, there's some wow. sand funk in here, but it's okay. That is a very chocolatey one. This is going to be a good example. It's going to be a good example. This one's going to bubble a lot more. It's got some calcium on it. That's the sand, that you know, but you see these gastropods, so all that acid could be up in there. You want to really get that out. Look at that. Wow. Chocolate town right there. That is beautiful. Wow, look at that. It was growing like another... Yeah, I was getting ready to, to grow another lip. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, That's it's... Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now this is some of my favorites to dip. Yeah. The true tulip. Our true tulips. I feel like those really, really uh, make a difference. Which again, you know, has a barnacle up in here. True tulips, the barnacles are a little harder to get off because of the ridges, you know? So the difference between a true tulip and a banded tulip is this one is rough. So anything rough, just like our scallops, when you get those barnacles on there, um, they're a little bit harder to get off due to those ridges. So again, these, som these sometimes need a little bit of love ahead of time. But we're just gonna give you an example here. So I try to shake. Give it a little shake. All that out before it goes into here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that really. That's a $30 that's a, shell right there. That's a dramatic difference there. <laughs> All day long, beautiful aperture. Mm, look at that. I might make that into a lux pendant. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, that just. Woo. Smoking. I'll do this one. All right. See, like, he didn't need a lot of love. You can tell when they don't foam up as much. But maybe this is his mama. Beautiful. <laughs> Very cool. I'm excited for this big lightning well. All right, let's do this. I'm going to do this beautiful big lightning well that our daughter found on our last adventure out that's on our uh, last YouTube channel it's a beautiful lightning well so since he's probably not gonna work well in here and I have gloves on this is how I would do this typically I would fill out my bucket a little bit more so that I could submerse it completely um, and then I would use tongs but we're just gonna kind of I'm gonna show you how I do it like this Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do his top first because that's the problem. It goes inside the aperture there. Oh, look at the difference in the top and the bottom oh. there. Wow. Wow. Oh, what she, a beautiful lightning well. She really found a beautiful one. Mm. I mean, to have all of these spikes on it like that incredible and to see where the baby started and how it started swirling around making its life growing and growing and growing and still remaining to have these sharp sharp spikes is incredible. was an incredible find and look at that look it's going to be purple inside and still all of this has yet to be dipped i'll just give that a a whirl now i have gloves on all as well Okay. These bigger shells can endure a little bit more time in the acid. I still just, if I need to go back over it, then I will. If not, there may not be any need be. Wow. What a great lightning wheel. Yep. Again, I have just a few barnacles. Look, they just pop right off. This one I'm going to have to pick because it's a flat laid one, but in... Incredible. 
Beautiful. How about you? Uh -huh. So, Dollar Trees are going to be your friend. This litter scoop. This handy nail nail brush. This. I'm not even sure what they really do with this. Painting, dots, something like that. It's a dollar. It came in a two-pack. Do you find it in the craft section? You do find it in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. Yep, where all the little glass jars are. Um, and this will be for our bigger shelves in our, our next tutorial. But yep, so Dollar Tree, Muratic Acid. You're going to go get at your local Ace Hardware, um, Home Depot, Lowe's. I believe Walmart has it typically in your pool section. Um, again, less is more. You can always add more. It's like, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to neutralize the water with baking soda. Um, and really about a cup of baking soda is what you need. You don't ever want to have your water filled so high when you neutralize the acid um, because it will bubble over. So again, try out with a little bit less baking po powder let it neutralize, put a little bit more, make sure it neutralizes more. As soon as it stops fizzing, you can then, we throw it in our rock beds um, around the house. Um, so clarify, that it's not baking. seeping out into the water because we do not want this going through the grass fields into our waterways. So very important to neutralize your acid. Uh, I also neutralize this water because the acid got into this water bucket. With baking soda, Baking correct? soda. Not powder. Did I say powder? You said powder. That's baking okay. Soda. Do baking soda though. You throw yeah. baking powder in there. I don't know what'll happen. Okay, baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> and voila.